So in the last video, we have talked about functions, how to call functions, how to pass parameters. And then we have also seen that how to convert a integer value or double value into integer. Now in this, we'll talk about something which we normally use in Java. Now, if you are, if you have learned Java before, or if you have worked on it, you might be knowing about pass int, right? Which converts your string value into integer. So normally we use a concept of integer.passInt. Now, how can we use that here? Example, if I create a string variable here, if I say string str and I mean, if I say var str colon string, and if I have a value which is four. Now, as we know that four is an integer, but then when the, the moment I enclose that in double quotes, it becomes a string, right? In the same way, uh, we that's why we are mentioning string here. If I want to convert that value into integer, example, if I create another variable here, and let's say that this variable is num, and the type of this number is, I mean, the type of variable is int, and if I try to assign the value as str, the moment you do that, you can see it is, it is giving you an error. It says required int found string. That means you cannot assign this value there. So the, the thing you can do here is we can use integer.pass in the same way we used to do in, in Java. Uh, example, you can say integer.pass int because all the Java classes and methods are actually available in Kotlin as well. Uh, if I go to this integer class, you can see it is integer.java. So even if you are using Kotlin code, you can directly use Java code inside that, right? But then why to use Java code here when you can, when you are working with Kotlin file? So what if you can simply say str.toInt? And this is awesome thing about, you know, uh, Kotlin, we can directly convert a string into integer with the help of toInt method. And it looks good, you know, instead of uh, looking at integer.parsint, I know that we have worked with that uh, for a long time. Uh, it's just that since we are working on that from a long time, we, get, we are used to it now. But then two int make more sense to convert a value, right? Now let's try. Let's see if it is working. So I will apply some operation here. I will say num plus plus the way we do in normal Java. We are using, uh, we are incrementing it, right? Right? You know, I have this habit of putting semicolon at the end in Java code, so it is getting here as well. Uh, let me. I can remove that, right? So we can we can let's print the value for num now, and let's see what happens. If I, the moment I run this code, let's right click and run first code and kd and you can see oh we got an exception because of some other class and that's this is the issue you know this is we have two files and that's the issue let me just remove that and go back here let's run this once again i hope it will work this time and okay i should run this way so first code run and you can see we got the output which is five right so we got the output as five here Okay, that's great. That means we can convert a string value if it is a, it, it has an integer number in that and you can convert that into two int. But let's try to understand what is happening behind the scene. So if I click on this two int, uh, you can do that by pressing on control and click. Uh, if you're using Windows machine, if you're using Mac, you have to press command and click. Okay, so as you can see, uh, this two int is a inline function and it is it is indirectly implementing integer.passInt. So whatever you pass here, so whatever pa string you pass, the same thing is getting converted with the help of integer.passInt. So even if you are using to int, indirectly it is using Java code, right? So again, Java is so powerful that Kotlin works with Java here. So yeah, that's how you convert. But what if the, the what if you say 4a and the moment you do that, because now 4a is not a normal integer, right? How can you convert that? The moment you run this code, you will get some bad words from your compiler. And it says, uh, not from the compiler, but then uh, you will get a runtime exception, which is number format exception. Again, if you are familiar with Java, this is the this is the type of exception you get when you try to convert a string into integer, which, which, which cannot convert example. 4a how can you convert 4a into integer right that's the issue here and that's why we got number format exception so how to how to handle exceptions in java do we have any other way i mean sorry in kotlin can we use java exceptions in kotlin how to do that that we'll see in the next video in this video we have talked about how to convert a string into integer we can use to to int method or we can go with the legacy one which is integer.parsint so that's it from this video guys. I hope you liked this video. Do click on the like button and do subscribe for further videos.